Elizabeth Bennett. How dare you make yourself manifest to me? I fought against my urges to <laughs> ignore you, to pay attention to your inferior magical abilities. <laughs> Not to pay attention to my detest for muggles. And these are words of a gentleman. I ask you to end my agony. Has a thought ever crossed your mind that I don't want to do this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> to just have potions for company? I'm very sorry to have caused you this pain. Is this your reply? <laughs> Am I meant to understand you wish my hand in marriage? Obviously. <laughs> Do you think anything might tempt me to accept the man who ruined the happiness of a most beloved sister? Lily. I mean Lizzie. <laughs> Do you deny it? That you separated a young couple who loved each other? I do not. But I did it for his own good. He was like a lamb being led to the slaughter. It had been suggested. What was? It was made perfectly clear that a marriage to a wizarding family was of great interest. How dare you suggest that my sister- Control your emotions. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lizzie. No, Lily. Lizzie. <laughs> and what about James Potter? <coughs> what? Is it not true that you actively engaged to ruin this man's reputation? James Potter was swine. <laughs> From the moment I first met you, I knew your arrogance and conceit made me realize you were the last man on earth I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Yeah. <laughs> so this is your opinion of me. <laughs> Are you crying? Take them. <laughs> Just one more. Go. Use them. I was once in love with a muggle born wizard. When we went to school, we were split against our will, and she fell in love with James Potter, who daily bullied me and humiliated me. I never stopped loving her, even after she was murdered. As for your sister, Mr. Bingley, I confess I used a confundist charm to convince him that she was just after his magical blood. No feelings for him <laughs> would not fail as Lily's had me. The truth is, I am Mr. Darcy. <laughs> and Mr. Darcy is me. <laughs> Together we make up the most beloved literary character of all time. We both come from elite families, have suffered great injustices, and try to hide our more noble intentions. I have every reason to believe that you and Lizzie are also alike. And while you may not be her, you're close enough for me. <laughs> the truth is, I love you. After all this time? Always. <laughs> Sincerely, Severus Snape William Darcy.